And welcome back, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill here with your forecast. And where were you this week 30 years ago? The Superstorm of 93 was Beckley, Beckley's largest snowstorm. Take a look at the snowfall totals from that particular storm. Anywhere from 20 to 30 inches crippled much of southern parts of West Virginia. Now, 30 years later, what are we dealing with? We are dealing with some snow showers out there and some chilly temperatures. 37 in Lewisburg and Union. Good afternoon, pipe stem 38. We have 32 in Beckley, 41 in Pineville. It's a little bit warmer there. Where the sun is out right now, our temperature's a little mild, but as we see on the radar picture, heavy snow band just east of, east of Summersville, that's going to head over the mountains. We have a little bit of a break. We'll actually have a little bit of sunshine here around six o'clock. Another band of showers in Charleston and some snow showers up across Ohio. That's associated with an area of low pressure that does promise us some snow tonight. You'll wake up to a little bit of coating. Wind chills, yes, with the temperatures and the winds, it feels like the upper 20s. It's going to feel even colder tomorrow. Here's our storm system spiraling across the Ohio Valley. As this pushes east, it's going to drag in even colder temperatures tonight, and you'll see more frequent snow showers. In the meantime, do you know anybody that lives near Albany or anybody that lives in southern New England? That area is going to get a walloping from a storm system. The same one that's going to bring us a couple of inches of snow in the highest elevations is going to combine with a coastal storm, and we are talking about a monster nor'easter across the northeast. If these two storms combine farther south, we would have a reminiscent of 30 years ago with the blizzard in 93, but instead the first piece of energy is what's going to bring us the snow. The second piece of energy is all the way across the northeast. Now, once we get rid of this particular storm system, it's going to spiral north. Very strong low pressure center making national headlines later this week with feet of snow uh, north of Albany. Once we get rid of that, we are in a springtime pattern, folks. We warm up very nicely. The pattern changes briefly. We get a shot of rain in here and then a cold push of air over the weekend that brings our temperatures back below average. And then over the weekend, we have a dry forecast too. So a little burst of snow for you, big time temperature spike and back to the winter chill. How much snow are we talking about? Well, up in Snowshoe, about four to six inches of snow, a little farther south, two to three inches. Oak Hill, Beckley, about a half an inch to an inch of snow and just a dusting a little bit farther to the west. Most of this will be on the grass. A little bit will accumulate on the secondary roads. Your exclusive seven-day forecast. 100% chance of snow showers in the mid-30s on Tuesday. Look at Thursday, 60 degrees, balmy outside. Front comes through with rain on Friday. We are back to breezy conditions over the weekend. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s, overnight lows in the 20s. That is your exclusive seven-day forecast. We are back with more news after this break.